Hi. So today we'll discuss about how to use the web app. So initially, what we need to do is we just need to log in through the user credentials. So whatever we have got it at the time of adding the users. Now, once we log in through our user credentials, the first screen that we come across is this screen. Okay. Now, being a user, what would be our task? Our task would be just to make the calls. So to initiate the calls, irrespective of any filter, what we need to do, we just need to simply click on the start button. Once we click on the start button, we can see automatically a lead will come over here in which cap the lead is present. That is present. The number is present. The name of the lead is present and whatever the other details would be there with the lead that will also be visible at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom under the other details section. Now, along with that, there is another option that is contact history. So over here, once we click on start calling or start automatically a lead will pop up. Over here, we'll get all the details of the lead, the name, number, the details, and in which camp it is present. Along with that, there's another option called contact history. If we simply click on this view button, we can see that whether it's a fresh lead or auto, or we have already tried to that particular lead or not. Okay. If it's a fresh lead, then it would have been shown that no contact history found. But this is a follow up lead. We have already tried to call to that particular lead before. So that's why the campaign name has been visible. So once we click on the campaign name, now we can see how many times we have tried to on this lead and what were the outcomes of that. So the complete history would have been shown over here in terms of follow up leads. So I'll just simply click on OK. I've got all the details. I've got the history that what are the times we have tried and what were the outcomes of that lead. Then accordingly, what we need to do is we just need to simply click on this number. Once we click on this number, automatically we need to log in through our mobile application as well. Once we click on this number, automatically in the mobile application, a pop-up will come that call on this number. Then we need to just click on that call. Then automatically the call will get uh, uh, redirected from the dialer of the phone. So this only happens if the IVR is not been activated. If the IVR is not there, we are only doing call from GSM mod, GSM model or GSM mode or normal mobile SIM. Then at that point of time, what we need to do, if we are using web app, but we need to initiate the call from phone, then what we'll do, we'll just need to click on the number and in the same time, we need to get logged in from the phone also. Once we click on this number, automatically in the phone, a pop-up will come that call on this number. We need to click on call, automatically it will redirect us to the dialer of the phone and then we can initiate the call. And once the call gets stopped, accordingly, we can dispose it or while being on call itself, we can dispose it. Now we get all the details, we'll make the call and once we make the call, we need to dispose the lead. Dispose means we need to update the lead. Now we need to click on the dispose lead at the top. Now there are two options coming. If you think logically, whenever we make calls to anyone, there will be only two prospects. Either the call will get connected or it won't get connected. So let us check for the not connected one first, then we'll check for the yes connected one later on. Once we click on not connected, we can see whatever the possible reasons are there for being not connected, all the reasons are listed over here. So we can choose any one of them. If in case we get some new reason, then at that point of time, we can simply click on the other reason and we can mention it. But for now, I'll just choose any of this from the above, like did not pick. And once a call gets not connected, due to any of the reasons, I have chosen the reason. But obviously, we need to make that call again. So for that, what we need to do, we just need to put the follow up. So that automatically, whatever the date and time I'll put it, just 10 minutes before that time, I'll get notified that I need to make the call again. So I'll select for tomorrow's date and OK. Then there are two optional options are there. One is reassign and the one is copy lead. If in case we want to reassign this lead to someone else, we want to transfer the complete ownership of this lead from us to someone else, then we can use that option. And if we want to like copy this lead to some other campaign or folder for future reference or for the purposes, then we can use that option, the second option. So these options are completely optional. If you want to use it, we can or just leave it blank. I'll simply click on submit now. Once I click on submit, automatically another lead came up. So this is basically the lead flow. The lead flow works like that. Once we uh, submit one lead, the second one will come. Once we submit the second one, the third one will come. This is the way the lead will continuously pop up in front of the screen till the time the lead gets over. Now, we get all the details. We will be able to check the history. Now we'll initiate the call by clicking on the number. Automatically, we'll get a pop up in the phone and the application. We need to click on call. Then automatically, the call will get redirected to the dialer of the phone and we can make the call. Then again, we need to update it. So for that, we'll click on dispose lead. Not connected, we have already checked. Now we'll check for the yes connected one. Once we click on yes connected, we can see whatever the questionnaire or the customer details form or the engagement form or the script form, whatever we say, 
are been selected or are been set up from the admin portal it's been visible over here now what we need to do we just need to check the questions accordingly we need to ask to our customers whoever will call and accordingly whatever the answers will get we'll just put it up over here so that all the details will get captured in our database and whenever the admin will download the report he will get all the details of the customer then accordingly there's a send message option as well once we click on the send message option we can see whatever the message uh, like format or the template has been set up from the admin portal that has been visible over here as a preview and whatever the way in the right hand side whatever the way we want to send it across we can just choose it and click on send automatically it will redirect us to that particular chat and then accordingly we can send it across so if we change the message template in the admin portal it will also get changed over here also and in the preview it will show us that what are the message format or the template has been selected then we'll get all the details, we'll put all the details, along with that we'll send the message, then we'll click on next. Once we click on next, then it comes to stages and tags. What are the stages and tags? So once we create a campaign, before that we obviously create a pipeline. Pipeline means the lead journey. The lead will flow in which direction. So basically whenever we call to any of the leads, obviously we update the status that yeah, this is uh, interested. This lead is not interested. This lead is a prospect or they have told us to call back. So accordingly, as per the business model, we can set up the complete pipeline or the lead journey in the admin portal. And whatever the lead journey will be set up, so that particular stages and tags will be visible over here. And after the call, after the communication, we can dispose it. So I'll just simply select as in progress. And under the in progress tags means the sub stages or sub status, which will give us a predefined reason. So I'll select as callback later, let's just as a random. And then till the time, the lead gets converted and lost. That means the lead is not closed. So if the lead is not closed, we need to put the follow up date mandatory. So we'll select the follow up date over here. I'll select it for tomorrow. Then the same two options, reassign and copy lead. So these two options are completely optional. If you want to use it, we can use it or else leave it blank. So these two options are present in not connected section also, along with the yes connected section also. And if you want that the follow up date, uh, show, we don't want it as mandatory. We do have an option in the settings part. Uh, from the admin portal, we can do that also. But it's always better to keep it mandatory. If the lead is not getting closed, it's always better that we put a follow-up mandatory so that we will have a uh, keep a close check on all the leads. Then along with that, there's a dispose remark option. So whatever the like whatever has exactly happened to this particular lead on this call, we can just put a uh, detailed remark over here. So I'll just put it as callback. Simple. So it will get uh, like uh, it will get to know and. Uh, it will be visible to the admin and to the users and for future reference also. It will help us. Then we'll simply click on submit. So now we can see automatically the leads are coming. So if we want to get out from this particular call flow, what we need to do? We need to apply a break. So for that, at the top right corner, there's a break option. Once we click on break, there are a couple of options up there. So for what reason we want to go for break? I'll simply select as TR snacks and then I'll just need to click on dispose lead. So once we click on dispose lead, we can see there's a timer running on. So there are two types of duration that we usually get it when we download the report. One is call duration and the one is form filling time. Call duration means the amount of time that was speaking to a particular lead and form filling time means the amount of time that was spending on a particular lead. So, we, uh, so whenever a lead gets started, the timer starts running. Till that time we'll dispose it, the timer will keep on running. So whenever we want to go for a break or we are going somewhere, we usually need to apply the break or else our productivity will get impacted in the report. So now what we need to do? We have applied the break, but still the time will have the timer is still running. That means the system is telling that, okay, you want to go for a break, you go. But before that, whatever the lead is present in your, uh, in your place right now, the existing lead, you need to complete it. You need to dispose it. Then only your break will start. So now what I'll do, I'll just simply click on not connect to any of the option. I'll select the reason. I'll put the follow up for tomorrow. And as I have always, uh, already applied for the break. And then I click on submit. Now after the break, whatever the lead I have submitted, now we can see the third lead or the next lead didn't come up. That means we have been redirected to the main screen and our break has started. So whenever we'll apply a break, the system will always tell you that, okay, fine, you want to go for a break, go. But before that, whatever the existing lead you are having in your bucket, just complete it, then only you will go for a break. So now we have been into the break and now again to start, we can just simply click on start, automatically another lead will come. Now there uh, is a particular break timing that can be set up from the admin portal. So 
whatever the, and if we exceed that time the admin will get notified that this user has exceeded his break so now if you want to call on a like campaign level or on a campaign specific level then what we need to do then we need to click on my campaign once we click on my campaign so whatever the campaigns we have been added in all the campaigns are been visible over here now in whatever the campaign we want to start the call we just need to click on the start calling just right hand side to that particular campaign so automatically the lead will pop up or the lead generally will start uh, the lead flow will start from from that particular campaign itself the leads won't come from other campaigns so this is specifically on a layman language we can say it as campaign wise calling because a user can be added in multiple campaigns or multiple folders so once we click on start then the uh, system won't be able to understand that from where the leads uh, they will give it to the uh, they, they will give it to the users so the leads will come up as per the priority of the campaign that whatever the priority has been set up from the admin portal so the leads will get distributed or will come as per the priority of the campaign and along with that as per the follow up date and time as well but if you want to make the call on a campaign level or a campaign wise then at that point of time we need to click on my campaigns and as per any of the campaigns we can simply click on start calling then automatically that particular campaign's leads will come up then along with that there is another option called my leads if we click on my leads then we can see new leads follow up leads and not connected leads if you want to click on view we'll be able to see all the new leads if we just go back again if we just click on view to follow up leads all the follow up leads will be visible similar way we can see it for the not connected leads as well if we click on start calling then the call flow will start for new leads follow up leads and not connected leads okay now let's say i'll click on any of the leads like view or not connected there are a couple of not connected leads are there so out of any of the leads if i just click on view over here there is the lead came up we have already discussed about the lead information dispose lead to update it and there is another option called other now over here there is a task details once we click on it there is an option called add new if we just click on add new so from here i will be able to add a task to someone we have already discussed about the reassignment so at the time of disposition while being not connected or not uh, yes connected we can reassign a lead to someone that means the complete ownership will get transferred from me to someone else but if we don't want the ownership get transferred but a simple task should be given so that automatically he, uh, he or she can complete the task and the, once they will update it will get notified to us then accordingly we can dispose it then that is also can be done from here in any of the lead we need to go to the other option at the top right corner then after that we need to click on task details and we can add a new task we can assign to any of the person we can select a deadline we can select a remark and we can click on add automatically the task will get assigned to the particular person so i'll just click on cancel and on the left hand side i'll go to home and there's the my task there's the third option is so my task once we click on my task there are two options coming in assigned to me and reported by me so if you click on reported by me that means whatever the task is reported by me all the tasks are going to visible over here in the left hand side by task status by campaign name or by assignee name we can filter it out and we can get our filtered task and accordingly in any of the tasks we can just in the right hand side there's a three dots option once we click on three dots option we can edit it once we click on edit we can uh, put the status and put the comment and update it accordingly again i'll click on my task i'll click on assign to me whatever the task has been assigned to me that has been visible over here in the left hand side similar way i can uh, i would be able to like filter it out and then accordingly uh, in the uh, right hand side three dots option i click it on i click on edit whatever the like communication or conversation i'll have with this lead accordingly i'll put the comment and i'll update the status and update it that's all so this is the way we can cater the task we can assign it or you can report it and automatically it will give a clear cut visibility for all the tasks has been assigned and whatever has been assigned to me i'll simply click on home again my campaign my leads my task has been over then i'll click on my reports so whatever the task or whatever the activities that we have already done on a particular day the complete activity history is present over here so once we click on uh, like once we click on my report i'll get the complete call report on the right hand side and the left hand side i'll get the complete login report login report means the complete activity report that what exactly i have done and what is the like performance of it everything and in the left hand side there's a date option as well once we click on date we can keep on changing the date and keep on getting the uh, like getting the report that what i have exactly performed on different dates so as per the date i would be able to check my performance like in terms of login activities and in terms of call productivity as well so this is how the my report works i'll again go to home 
is the call logs. Once we click on call logs, we can see all the call logs have been visible over here. Okay. So now, if the IVR has been activated in the account, then the incoming call logs will also be visible. If there is no IVR, then only outgoing calls, whatever the calls will made or will initiate, those logs will only get added over here. Okay. Now I'll again click on home. At the bottom right, there is a plus button. Once we click on plus, we can see there's a walk-in lead option. So if in case we get some reference or something or get leads from some other place, which is not been present in the database, other point of what we can do, we can simply put the basic details of that lead and we can update it. Like name, number, in which campaign we want to add, and the details, and then click on submit. Automatically, a lead will get added in the database and it will be assigned to me itself as I'm only adding it. So we don't need to reach out to our admin or manager to get a lead up uploaded or updated. Okay. So we have that option for walking leads. So if in case we are going on, going on field and over there we are generating leads, then at the point of time, we can simply click on walking lead and get the leads uploaded from our side and it will be assigned to us itself because we are adding it. Now at the top, there's a search by contact number. We can uh, search any of the lead by a contact number. Just right hand side, there's a drop down button. Once we click on drop down, we can see, we can search by any of the things, by name, number, and all the custom contact properties in the left hand side, the campaign wise, uh, campaign wise filter we can do, assignment wise we can do, follow up wise we can do, lead status wise we can do, creation date wise we can do, even the stages and tags wise also we can do. So there are a couple of options that has been present. So we'll be able to like filter out the data as per our preference. So whatever the search and filter option is present in the admin portal, the same is been present in the user portal as well. We can apply even dual and triple filter also to get a niche kind of data. So as per our preference, we can filter out the data as it's pretty much flexible. Along with that, at the bottom, there is a small checkbox, which calls, do you want to include converted and lost leads in your search? So whatever the search and filter option we are applying, if you want a lost and converted leads also, or closed leads also to get come or to show in that particular search, then we need to enable that option. Okay, so search and filter option is very much flexible, it's good. And then just beside it, there's a bell icon. So whenever we'll get assigned to any task, any leads, whenever we'll add a walking lead, or whenever a follow-up uh, notification will come, automatic along with the push notification in the system, we'll be able to see it in the notification panel as well. Once we click on this bell icon, whatever the notifications is present depending, the number would be visible. Once we click on that, all the pending notifications will be visible over you. We can simply click on any of the notification, it will redirect to that particular task itself and we can complete it from you. So by this way, not a single notification will get missed out from our end. Now, at the top right corner, there's a three strike button. Once we click on it, if in case, if in case we want to change the language, we can simply click on change language and we can select the preferred basic language, whatever we want to want it as a UI, we can just select it. And then after that, we can click on update. Automatically, the language will get changed for the complete UI. Okay. Again, I'll click on the top right corner. I'll go to settings. And it's always better that to enable this option. Receive notifications for not connected follow. -up. For not connected calls also, we are putting the follow. -up. To receive that particular notification, we always need to enable this option and save it off. So it's always better to do it. Then after that, the last but not the least, at the top, at the right bottom, there's an option called messages. If in case we face any issues or any inquiries, like uh, any concerns from a user level and our admin and manager is not present or whatever is happening, we can simply, we don't need to rely on someone. We can simply click on this messages button. Automatically, it will redirect us to the new of delight chat support. And automatically, we can just click on continue to chat and we can uh, like ask our concerns and on a real time basis, it will get uh, resolved from our new of delight team. So yeah, that's all from the user part. So thank you.